Hey guys, what's going on? We are here at the North Goshen Yard in Indiana. So we came up last night. We brought up our gooseneck trailer. And we were going to do one of two things. We were either going to sell it or we were going to get it fixed. So we threw it up for sale just to see what would happen. A lot of interest. A lot of interest. A lot of interest. So we sold the trailer yesterday. Eh, got a decent decent price for it. And I was happy with it. I mean, it'd been worth a little bit more if I'd have fixed it, but I didn't have to worry about it. So we done that. So then we didn't have a trailer. So we were here. Uh, we went and rescued this load. This is a Kaufman trailer, which I did not like at all. But uh, so we went and rescued this load in Fort Wayne. The driver that had it broke down. We were here, so we wanted to pay back the good deed for the person that rescued our load last week. So I figured that was the best I could do was go and rescue this guy's load so he could get it out of the truck stop because his truck's gonna be down for about two weeks. He needed to get it out of the truck stop. So we got him brought it here. So now that leaves us with, what are we going to do without a trailer? So I thought about it and I thought about it. Because I thought about it, whether selling or fixing. And like I said, I decided to sell. So we are here. Picking up this. 2022 ship sheet. So this is going to be our trailer now. So I'm excited. We're going to use this, uh, be able to get a couple more vehicles, hopefully do some boats out of the, near where we live there at the house. So, you know, decided about that. So we are going to check this thing out and make sure we got all the equipment we need. And uh, go from there. So I will... Uh, Check back in with you guys once we get this trailer, get over and uh, get it loaded up, and uh, yeah, we're gonna put our first load on it today. I'll get back with you guys. So we delivered those campers to. Where did we go? Oh, Alabama. So we're at home. Uh, this trailer was flexing a lot on my fifth wheel. And you know, I really ain't used the fifth wheel. So look at that. That thing, it's a 24,000 pound fifth wheel. It is wore out. That's why I had so much flex in there. So jumped on the old marketplace found this brand new 25,000 pound fifth wheel it's a Kirk Q25 had never even been opened there's the plastic there's the plastic that was wrapped around the box and everything hadn't been opened the guy bought it had it shipped he needed it faster than I could get it to him so he went and found one locally selling that one went back with the cart just because the way this it's fabricated on my truck. That's exactly what fits in there. So, but it's a 25,000 pound one. So we're gonna get all this together, get it on the truck. I'll show you what it looks like. It's Saturday. Got the Holly girl out here with me. Just wanted to jump on here and show you Boy, is she pretty with that new trailer. She needs a bath. She's gonna get one in Corbin, but it was pretty busy, so might get in Fort Wayne, but uh, we're in Georgetown, Indiana right now. Stop, let Holly girl eat. She's out here running around, but we're about to get back on the road. Head on up. I've been on the weekend. I didn't really, didn't find anything I could pick up or anything that, uh, I really could get on on Saturday, but uh, 
got a couple runs we're gonna do. We gotta be back for a ceremony thing of my son's at over at Camp Lejeune, but uh new fifth wheel looks good, it's doing great. I know it's kinda hard to see, but it's riding level. So happy about that. This feels feels better on there, but yeah. She's a pretty girl. What's up guys? Little girl sitting there, she got washed today after we dropped off. Uh, dropped in North Little Rock, Arkansas. We had three Coleman's on here, the 21 footers. Got a truck coming in, it's gonna be a little loud. So yeah, we dropped off three Coleman 21 footers. We had to be there by 4.30 today, Central Time. We pulled in at 4.29. But they took them. They said, you got here just in the nick of time. Yeah, I was a hustling. Uh, got the truck washed after I dropped that off. Had the trailer sprayed off. Oh, well, 80 here in Arkansas, they done a crappy job, but I just wanted to get the junk off. Uh, then, my tail lights quit working on the truck and the trailer. It keeps blowing a fuse. So, I have, uh, after I stopped here, I went in, I've checked everything. I did find one wire that was corroded pretty good. Redone it. I don't know. When you turn them on, they stay on. I start driving, and within a mile, it just it flickers a little bit and goes off. So either, Something was shorting out because of a wire, that wire was loose, or something's gotten wet, and as I'm moving, the water in there is moving and causing it to short out. I don't know. Like I said, stopped here tonight, checked everything, done it up, put a new fuse in it. You can turn the lights on while you're sitting here. It will not blow. You start driving, it does. So, I guess we'll find out tomorrow if we got it fixed or not. But uh, we're headed back to Indiana, picking up a load one North Carolina, three 21 foot Coleman's again. Uh, we don't have anything on the trailer right now. We don't have anything booked. We're gonna check in the morning. We're about 70 miles from Memphis. So we'll look along the route, see if we can find something. But other than that, just wanna say, and if you, got, if you guys are out here or if you plan on being out here, you better be strong willed to succeed and not give up. And I don't mean necessarily in the hauling part of it. I mean just dealing with the things that are gonna go wrong. The pesky little electrical problem that keeps blowing a fuse or, you know, exhaust manifold cracking or trailer bank. I mean, that's the kind of things that will probably put you out of the industry faster than the slow times because if you're a hustler even during the slow times you can make it work so we're gonna let this dog out again and then we're gonna get ready to lay down so uh, I'll check in with you guys later